Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you didn't know, now you know. As you can see, today we have Savvy Land. It is a dip system. You may have seen a few weeks ago these dip liquids featured in a video to test and see if they were hypoallergenic. What did you think? Did it turn out that they were? I don't know, but we're going to use them again today. And then this is the powder that actually came with it. This is a clear and it is said to be hyper clear, not yellowing, not cloudy, and it is a very fine milled powder. Like you can see how it's sticking to the jar. And so we're going to test that. We're going to do it on these nails. Now to be fair, these nails have their own amount of like stuff going on. Like I got some alcohol under this one and it made a little white spot, but it is what it is. What we're going to do is we're going to encapsulate some transfer foils just so that we can, you know, see what we got going. So let's get started. All right, we get this thing opened up and it is super full. This kit is going to be linked in the description as always. Definitely make sure that you're in my Amazon discount group on Facebook because I post these kind of things. In fact, this has been posted in there before when it was on sale. I don't know if it's gonna be on sale when this video comes out, but if it is, of course, I will link that for you. We are going to do the pour over method. So let me get all of my things. These dips are a little bit hard to open because the necks are just a bit crusty, but once you do have them open, it gets easier. And so we're gonna do one layer of clear and then, no, we're gonna do two layers of clear, then we'll do the filing and shaping. We'll put on those transfer foils and then we're gonna do another layer of clear. And so that's gonna be the plan. Let me zoom this in just a little bit for you. And so we're gonna start with the pinky and we're gonna go down the middle. We're not really worried about an apex because these full cover tips are really good structure. And then we'll tap this on, make sure that we're rolling the finger so that we get it everywhere and then let it sit for a moment so that it has time to absorb into that dip liquid. It does tend to absorb powder and then go back wet and then you have to add more. So I like to let it sit for a moment so it has some time to go ahead and get all that it's going to. And that is a good one for the first dip. We'll finish the sides on the second one. Let's do the next finger. And so again, we are mostly just focusing on the middle. We do want it to have a good structure going, but we don't have to work our way up because we don't want more dips than absolutely necessary. All right, so we'll let that sit and then I'm gonna speed run through the rest of them. All right, so we've got one layer completed. It is time to go in for the second layer. We must have banged this onto something because it's got a hole in it now. First though, we have to dust this. So we do want to gently dust because this is not firm yet. We don't want to knock off what is not supposed to come off. Now I'd say that is maintaining pretty decent clarity. Let's go ahead and do this second layer. And this one, we are going to cover the entire nail. So let's make sure we're getting good and close to the cuticle, but don't paint on it. And then on the edges as well. Don't forget to roll your finger so you can make sure those sides get good and powdered. Excellent. Let's knock these other ones out. Definitely make sure you're keeping your cuticles clean. If you do get a little bit in there, go ahead and scrape that out before it drives. Okay, so we've got two layers on. We'll let this dry for a moment and then we will dust. All right, so I did give those a little buff so they're a little bit smoother. We're gonna go in and get our foils put on and we're gonna use this star glue. It is transfer foil glue that air dries 
it goes on white and when it turns clear it's ready to apply your transfer foils. You only need a thin coat so don't overdo it. And we'll just get this on here real quick. Okay, so we'll let those turn clear and then we'll come back. All right, so they're pretty clear. Let's get started. So we have these transfer foils. I don't know how well you can see them, but this is the ones we're gonna use. You wanna make sure that the side with the matte decoration is the side you stick to the nail. If it's all shiny, that's not the side that the print is on. And so for this first one, what we're gonna try and do is a bit of like a French style. So we'll just put that on there like so. There we go. And only the actual design has anything to transfer. The clear part, it's nothing. So it's not gonna like encapsulate it with nothing. And so you just wanna get that on there really well. Make sure you've got it good and pushed down. And then with this kind of glue, you wanna snatch it off for it to leave the design. If you don't snatch it and you try and peel it slowly, it can just peel up the glue. And that's not what we're going for. And then for the next one, we wanna do like a bit of a up here in the corner situation. And so we'll rub that on really well. Make sure you get it good and covered. And then same thing, snatch it off. Perfect. And then I have this one that covers a lot of nail. We're gonna do this one on the middle nail. It's not covering the entire thing, but it does cover a lot of it. Yep, make sure you rub down the sides as well. We want good coverage. Nails are curved and so wrinkles happen. Make sure you're rubbing those wrinkles down too. There we go. Now the camera did die, so I had to change out the batteries, but we've got that on there, so we are ready to go back to our dip powder. Let's get our station put back together. Now the parts of this that didn't get decoration, they're still a bit sticky, um, but that's okay, because we're gonna be sealing all that in. We wanna make sure we're covering the entire nail with this layer. Yep, and let's do those others real quick. All right, so we've got one layer on. We'll let that dry for a moment, and then I think we're gonna do one more layer. All right, I dusted those. Let's go in with one more clear layer. Okay, and let's let this sit, and then we will come back and activate. Okay, let's activate. And as you know, be generous with your activator. You want a bunch so that it penetrates all the way through your powder and makes it all hard. It does also give you a little bit of a sneak peek about what it's going to look like after with the clarity. You don't have to be super careful with activator because it's like not going to hurt you if it gets on you a little bit. All right, so we've got to give this a good amount of time to dry. It does take a little while and if we start filing too soon it can cause them to break apart so I'll come back in like 10 minutes okay so we are ready to do some filing now we are going to gently go in and file don't over file just go in crisp in your sides don't do too much this is still relatively soft and we don't want to just completely go through it we just want to make it look nice so go slow, don't want to cut yourself. Make sure you're getting your ends. You want to have a nice crisp end. And then don't forget to go underneath as well. You want that to be smooth. And then when it comes to going around your cuticles, go very slowly and carefully, especially if you're using a hand file. You do not want to cut yourself. And I'll come back once these are all filed. Okay, so I'm sure this looks different. Let me catch you up. 
So apparently the dip will not stay on top of that star glue. It it left like a, a split so it was like it peeled up. So I had to repair all of them. And so now they are just the dip powder. Whatever. Let's go in with our top coat. Well, that's weird. The bottom of this just unscrews for some reason. Let me know if you know what that's about. All right, and then let's that dry. All right, so this is dry. I am not going to get photos because this isn't really anything decorative, but let's have a look. So, is it as clear as they say it is? Inconclusive. I'm not sure. Like, mine seems to be full of bubbles, but I don't know if that is due to the glue that I had put on there, which I suspect it might be, or if it's something else. But it is clear and it doesn't appear to be yellow or anything like that. And so if those bubbles are just due to my own mistake, then that's fine. I would say that this is a good clear powder and it is hard and sturdy. And so I would recommend this kit, especially for encapsulation and building. My cuticles are super duper dusty and dry now that they have been buffed a million times since I had to buff all that sticky off with the transfer foil since they would not stay. But you know, let me know if you have Savvy Land's Clear Dip and if you have tried it before or this kit itself. Um, and then definitely do consider getting it. It will be linked below. And also, if you do get dip flu and it has been determined that these liquids are sensitive for that, which you'll know if you've watched my last video or not, then definitely look into that as well. And it may be helpful for you. We will see. But that is really it for this video. It doesn't really need to go any longer. And... I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.